Hey, I'm Craig, and today for the Surfboard Guide, we're gonna check out the new Sacrificial by Campbell Design. So the Sacrificial we'll be riding is a stock 5.5, 5, 5, 5 by 21 by 2 and 7 16 and it's 33.3 litres. So the Sacrificial is, I think they say, the um, design is inspired from a kind of classic fish, uh, hence the name Sacrificial, uh, and I'd say the front two thirds is exactly that. Pretty wide and fishy kind of outline through the front, flat deck, flat through the nose, it's not domed, uh, holds its width, a uh, thickness out to the rail. But then this back end kind of takes a more of a performance shortboard-esque back end. Uh, nice little bump here, little flyer, and it comes into a nice tighter swallow towel. So great classic kind of fish front end to make paddling and surfing really easy. And then this more performance and modern back end to get surfing, you know, more critically and more vertically. Uh, looking over the sacrificial, rocker is flat, really flat through the board. Nice little nose lift, nothing crazy, flat through the tail. And then in the bottom, I feel like, because it's got quite a large V, I feel like it ends up with a little bit of rail rocker uh, through the back end, just because that V is so pronounced. But I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Uh, flipping it over, they say it has a soft concave, which feels like through the front end, a really shallow single. And then what you end up with in front of the fins, about 10 inches out, a V starts. And it's really quite pronounced. I'm gonna say the center, not the stringer, because there is no stringer. Uh, it feels like it's higher than the rail line. So what you end up then is rail rocker, instead of having rocker through like through the blank or through the center, you end up with rail rocker. So with that V um, and that rail rocker, you end up with a tail that's quite easy to pivot on and turn and also surf really rail to rail quite easily. Cause this board's 21, which is pretty wide and it doesn't feel like it's much less than 21 back here. I'm gonna say it's still about 19 wide, which is pretty wide for 12 inches out from the tail. But what that does, that V and that rail rocker, if I'm correct, allows you to surf, you know, more critically, more vertically and not feel like you're on this really big, wide, kind of slow back end of a board and it feels really nice to surf. Funnily enough, the Sacrificial turned up at my house on a Friday afternoon. Uh, and what I was actually frothing out on the board was to check it out as a two plus one. In my mind, it was a twin plus a stabilizer, nothing more. Uh, the fins I wanted, which was the Rasta two plus ones, had arrived and I only threw this quad set in. Um, forecast looked like it was gonna be, you know, two foot round chest high, really good conditions. Looked like it's gonna be really fun, really clean. Bought in the car, got down in the dark, lights came up. It's four, six foot plus. It's really big, it's pretty solid. It's a new fresh swell, a lot of energy. Uh, and I had this trusty epoxy sacrificial in the car. Um, took it out and the thing kind of blew me away. away. A couple of things that were really helpful, I think in those bigger conditions, uh, a board that I would not normally grab for solid waves. Um, 33 liters at 5.5, the volume is very condensed. So in bigger, larger waves that had quite a bit of push, I was able to get into them nice and easily and, and pretty early, which made surfing it, um, you know, I wasn't taking late kind of critical drops because I was in them nice and early. Uh, and having this quad set in here and not the twin plus one that I was really keen on was a godsend. Had I had that, it'd be much too skatey. It was too skatey when it was like a foot with those fins in it. It would have been hugely too skatey in five to six foot waves. The quad had a lot of hold, a lot of drive, and it felt really, really fun. So I was able to get in some waves early, where I live, when it gets good, it's a bit of a right wedge, a bit of a slingshot into some turns where you could actually draw some nice lines. And the thing felt really, really solid. It really blew me away. Bring it back to where it's meant to be. Waves, you know, I'm grabbing the sacrificial when it's kind of knee high, it's kind of shoulder high, definitely handles bigger, um, but I, I want this for, you know, less than stellar conditions, not much push, and I want to make surfs really fun. The sacrificial does that. Like I said, this flat deck, holds all this volume. So I'm paddling into waves really, really easy. And that same volume under your front foot, I'm skating across sections really easy. Uh, you'll see some of the clips, you know, really weak, pretty average waves, um, pretty heavy guy, uh, 92, 93 kilos at five, 10 and a half on 33 liters. Um, this thing has a lot of liveliness, a lot of spring in its step, and it's really quite fast at connection sections uh, for someone who's quite heavy. Um, so yeah, I'm having a lot of fun in weak and average waves on this board. Also, we've checked out the Exoflex construction before. We checked out a shortboard Campbell Design did a few years ago called the Tope, uh, and this thing is solid. So I won't get into it too much detail, but you can check it out on the Campbell Design website. Uh, under the, this carbon strip is a leaf spring. And what that does, it kind of, um, you know, it kind of flexes and you can definitely feel it. I'm gonna put up a clip, which I hope you're watching right now, um, where I'm doing a back, backhand little turn off some foam. And I don't normally kind of like, 
you know, delve into clips and, and talk through them in the board. But I actually feel like this, you could, I could definitely feel it. And when I watch the, the footage of it, I can definitely see it. I feel like the board is rebounding off that little bit of white wash out of that turn with more speed and more energy that it's gone in with. And that's something I felt through a lot of the surfs, but I think it was really quite clear in that clip, which hopefully you can watch again. Um, that it kind of bounces out. And that's what I'm really keen on this ExoFlex technology. So I've had a chance over the last 10 years of reviewing, surfing, check out lots of epoxy techs. Some of them are great. You end up with boards that are really light. They're really lively. Uh, and they definitely spice things up when conditions are less than stellar. I've also ridden some as a heavier guy that I feel like are bending under my feet and I don't enjoy and they feel like they're sluggish and not a lot of fun. Uh, for someone who's solid or even for someone who's light, the ExoFlex feels epic. It's really good in smaller and weaker conditions. And like I said, it's holding its own when it's bigger and when it's better. In the fins with the sacrificial, we ended up where we started. So I actually was frothing to get these new Rasta 2 plus 1s by Futures. Uh, these have the V2 speed generating foil. Um, they used to be like a purple. They've just changed the construction a little bit, uh, but it's a very similar fin. And I thought these were the fin for this. I thought the epoxy technology, the ExoFlex speed generating um, uh, foil, I'm, this thing's gonna be an absolute rocket. And they were fast and they were fun. They were really, really too skatey and I really struggled actually to get a lot of drive uh, out of them in this board. Since then I've ridden them in other boards and you'll see them come up in a couple of twin fin reviews soon. Epic, epic fins, but were too much for a board that's only five foot five long with this little bump that comes into a tight kind of swallow. Way too skatey. Uh, what I ended up with was an AM1 and AM2 Tech Flex quad set. So this is the AM1 Tech Flex, which is a medium. And this is the AM2 Tech Flex quad rears, which is a large. I tried the large, large, too much fin, too much hold, kind of took away from what the board had to offer. Uh, the mediums with the large rate rears are very balanced. Uh, normally your leading quads are larger than the rears. These are almost the same size with not too much more surface area, but they do have a little bit more. Felt really balanced. Uh, lots of hold, lots of drive. Definitely made the board feel like it had a greater rail line, especially being a heavier guy, but without making it feel like it was a really big board. And I hope that makes sense and you can see it through some of the surfing and the footage. Uh, this was the perfect set. Like I said, I checked these out first. I checked out the Rasta Twins. I also checked out the AMTs, which is the AM Twins, uh, Twin Plus Up stabilizer uh, and they felt okay but again the quad just had all the control and drive and everything that this board wanted it has a lot of natural speed it has a lot of natural like flex and ability it felt like it needed something that harnessed that it didn't need something that also added speed added maneuverability you know was really skatey um, when i was surfing them i did some little like foam rebound reverses and i was kind of psyched on my surfing but then when i saw the clips of it i'm like I feel like it was so skatey, it looked like I wasn't moving ahead. So I hope in the footage you see me surfing this board, uh, the waves are weak, they're pretty average, which is when I grab this board, and I hope you can see the board kind of projecting with drive and speed and moving ahead, which comes from the ExoFlex construction, and this AM2 and AM1 TechFlex quad set definitely harnessed what this board offered. Sacrificial has been absolutely epic. A few years ago, we had a chance to check out the Toe by Campbell Design, which also had the ExoFlex technology. At the time, that board felt was a little bit light on volume, but it was okay. Um, but once I was into waves, that ExoFlex technology felt super lively. I could feel the spring out of turns and it was really, really fast. It's a chance to come back, check out a board that, you know, a little bit more volume, a performance small wave shape, Again, um, with the ExoFlex technology, uh, I was actually frothing to check it out. It was really cool to go on the fin journey as well. And instead of just trying to find a fin that worked, actually find a fin that really harnessed what the board had to offer. Uh, and this quad set up by Futures in the AM Tech Flexes uh, absolutely did that. Look, overall, 
love the sacrificial it is a small wave um, machine and i'm actually gonna put a little clip together there's two boards i've checked out this summer one's a twin fin the other's this and i think they're two perfect small wave boards i'm going to do something to kind of talk about both of them and why they probably should be both in your quiver um, but overall i have loved the sacrificial uh, i'd like to thank stewie and ryan for the chance from campbell design uh, for the chance to check it out and hopefully you get a chance to check one out too thanks so much for watching